I've been a fan of the Seahawks for a very long time. I was about eight years old, as, as far as I can remember, when I was a fan. I was 15 years ago, which is crazy. I remember watching Super Bowl 40, Seattle Seahawks playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Unfortunately, I lost in what was a really controversial game at the time. Still controversial for some, but it was 15 years ago. I mean, it's, it's the past, it's gone. But I've been a fan for this, of the Seahawks for a very long time. Watching what is unfolding in this team right now, or at least the way the media is portraying them, is pretty hectic. I've ne I don't think I've seen so much ridicule for a team that has one bad losing season for the first time in like 10 years. Okay, it's been years, basically, or nine years, whenever Russell went to the league. I have not seen so much ridicule by the media about blowing the ship up. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I think the Seahawks have had some really unfortunate circumstances. This season has been very, very difficult. It's been a lot of adversity, a lot of changes. I mean, also, you know, I, I said at the beginning of the year, I was like, Shane Waldron is the GOAT. You know, watching that week one game against the Colts, everything was meshing well. And ever since then, man, my words have been eaten. I, 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 I was, I'm definitely eating them. You know, after seeing this whole entire season unfold, the offense has been the biggest struggle for this team. The defense has held their own. They've obviously have a lot. You look at some of the stats, they haven't done so great when it comes to like yardage, but then you look at how much points are given up. And I mean, they're still well within um, giving the opportunity of the offense to have a chance to win the game. But when the defense is on the field for 40 minutes a game or 38 minutes a game, it's a struggle. I mean, watching this team, you can't really, I mean, there are positives of this team. I think there's a lot of talent on the defensive side of the football field. I think they have some good pieces there. I think on offense, they have talent, but execution has been poor. Addressing Russell Wilson in the future, his comments that he has made this week, his comments he's made throughout the season have been a little bit different. I think the most recent press conference he had going into this Detroit Lions game, he had an interview Wednesday, he was talking to basic, or Thursday, he had an interview basically talking about how he hopes to be in Seattle, but he doesn't really know, so to speak, but he plans to play in the NFL still, and it's not over, and he wants to win three Super Bowls with Seattle, like that was his goal, right? What was so strange to me hearing that is Russ has the power over his trade clause. If he wants to be in Seattle, he's well within to be in Seattle at least two years, because I don't know many teams that are gonna release a player for 25 or 20 million dead cap. I just don't think that's a wise business decision if you wanna win a Super Bowl or get anywhere near a Super Bowl. So hearing that comment was a little bit indifferent to me. And then also, you know, just seeing the way that people have been like, fire Pete Carroll, fire John Schneider. I think we gotta really press on the brakes. This has been one bad season, like I just mentioned, in about 10 years. I feel like the standard of Seattle football has been raised so high because of the standard of coaching and excellence they've had the last nine to 10 years. They have been a premier football team. They've been in it. They were basically one play away from being a dynasty. And in a lot of ways, that defense was a dynasty for four to five years, dominating the NFL year in and year out. Then obviously Sherman went away, Earl Thomas went away, Cam Tenso unfortunately went through an injury and had to retire. Unfortunate circumstance came. This kind of has become Russell Wilson's team on offense. We went through a, a place last year when we saw Russ cook. And then Russ hasn't been the same since. Ever since he started releasing, he, he's just not the same football player. I, I've seen a different Russell Wilson the last year and a half than what I saw those first eight weeks. It's it's like the deep ball was getting discovered by teams. They found a way to defend it. And offense of Seattle has been, it's just been gone. Um, I, I've been amazed to watch this year. And like I just said earlier about how many of my words, how the offense is just, they can't move the ball. And I don't think they they, they lack talent. There's just hasn't been, look, I, I have been a Russell Wilson supporter since I've, I've, I've watched him in the NFL. I love um, what he's about and his faith. I love what he's about and, and a lot of um, his, the way that he tries to help the community and the way he, who he is as a man, he's done a lot of great things. But when it comes to this year, 
Some of his decisions have costed this team wins, has costed this team games. And I, it's hard to say that because I feel like a lot of people are very much, at least for me, it's hard to, to kind of be hard on this guy because he has done so much for Seattle. But this year has been rough. And I think overall for Russell and his whole entire season this year alone has been hard for him. This man is going through a lot more than just an injury. This man's going through a grieving process when he lost a very important mentor to his life. You know, a lot of people don't just come back from that and immediately are super excited. Not everyone can throw like a Brett Favre five or four, four or five touchdowns after a father's passing away. Like certain things, certain adversity can bring things out of people. Some good and some not so good. And I feel like that is a huge element of Russell's Wilson's contributing factor. That's what, that's what I would say. And then the injury. The injury was very important. I think it's the biggest reason why Seattle is five and 10. I think if Russ isn't injured, Seattle's looking at possibly clinching a playoff spot this weekend. That's my perspective. Because I genuinely believe that a lot of the issues have been because Russell's not 100%. And he obviously said he was 100%. So, I mean, you can take his word for it, but. You see those throws at the Green Bay game, he was not 100%. You see the throws of the game at Washington football team was 100%. You see the throws of this last week, it doesn't seem like it's 100%. I think he's still learning how to use that finger after an injury. The injury doesn't just go away. The finger doesn't just go back to normal after a few weeks. It, it, it literally was a six to eight week process. And that's really, I think, the biggest contributing factor for this team of why they are where they are is because their quarterback has had some struggles. And I really think looking at the future of the Seahawks, will Russell Wilson stay? Will he leave? I mean, I would like to see him, Pete, John, run it back. I would, but I don't know if that's gonna be the case. I, I think there is a high chance that a trade could happen. I don't wanna buy into it. I've been kinda constantly like, oh, there's no way, like, you know, Russell's gonna stay here. But the more answers he's been giving recently makes you really wonder, makes you go, maybe, maybe something is going on. And we don't know the whole picture. We don't know the whole scope of where the future is for this franchise. But right now it's been a struggle. And I, I do think that a lot of people may disagree with me with the whole perspective of running it back with Pete Carroll, but uh, he has raised the level of excellence of Seattle football and I think sometimes we as fans have such a high expectation of where they should be. And when it doesn't perform the way we want it to be, we want things to change. It's kind of human nature, right? But things take time. Um, the Seahawks did not get to a Super Bowl championship team in one year. It took them a few years to retool, re-mechanic guys. Remember when Pete came into Seattle, he took away the whole entire roster. It was like a complete overhaul. Him and Pete, him and um, John, just overhauled the whole roster. And then they had their first year with Russell. It was okay, but it was like this, oh, this is a different kind of era of football. And maybe right now we're walking into a different era of football. Maybe the Seahawks aren't gonna be at the super competitive level, maybe a couple years. Or maybe next year they get some pieces from this draft. They get some pieces maybe in free agency market as they have a lot of cap. I really hope they re-sign Condre Diggs. I'm, I'm still amazed that they have not signed him, but maybe they get some retooling and get some preparation, maybe build some areas of, of some weakness this year, and they're right back in it. It's a very high possibility. And maybe right back in it means they lose the divisional round or the NFC Championship. That's a possibility. But I don't think when you have seasons like this, after you've had so much excellence in the past, you burn the whole ship down, you burn the building down, you start over. I think things take time to get back to where it should be. And I think the Seahawks have what it takes to get back to a roster and team that is of a championship caliber. And let me know your thoughts. That's my opinion, that's my perspective. Hopefully Russ comes back, but I don't know. Just seeing the things he's posted, seeing the things that he's talked about, the way he's talking, it just doesn't seem normal. It's a bit different than the tone that he's had in the past. But regardless, wherever Russ does, does play next year, hope nothing but the best. Uh, he's been a great competitor. He's done a lot of great things for this team, done a lot of great things for his community. And you know, he continues to keep Christ the focus. I believe the Lord will continue to bless him wherever he goes. Um, 
I hope the best for him. And you know, it's it's like I said, I the whole grieving thing, I hope he's also do healing in that. You know, a lot of people are all about like the finger injury. Uh, losing a loved one, I think sometimes is a lot harder um, than those injuries. I mean, I, very much so. And uh, hopefully this, this whole entire situation get resolved for this team. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one.